Okay, so I just found out I made a huge mistake in my videos of comparing uh, analog and digital. In my digital tests, I was using this included antenna that comes with the Freestyle BTX. The problem is this is a left-hand circuit polarized antenna, and I was using right-hand circuit polarized receiving antennas. So that's a mismatch in polarity between the antennas, and that's really bad for signal quality. I asked Carl how bad it could be, and it, theoretically, the loss is infinite. Obviously, it wasn't infinite because we still got signal, but it could have been better if the polarization was correct. And, and here's how you can tell if you open these things up. If you look at this antenna that's broken and opened up, uh, this is a right-hand circular polarized antenna. You can tell because there's a ramp that kind of goes um, up and to the right. If you look at the antenna that I'm flying for these tests, there's a ramp, but it goes up and to the left. That's how you tell when you open up these antennas if it's a left-hand or a right-hand antenna. So the comparisons, uh, I, I don't have time. I don't have time to redo these comparisons, and the uh, the weather is snowpocalypse in Michigan right now, uh, so I couldn't even if I wanted to. So I'm going to show the rest of these tests the way they are. Uh, just know that digital could have done better. Okay. Right. Yep. So, oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Talking yes. through this one. Yeah, so this is a different one. Um, and this is, I'm just going to be honest, it's going to show a weak point of HD0. Okay. So, um, if you push the signal to the absolute limit where analog is black and white and is doing like an absolute horror show, and you just push it all the way down to the limit, analog will do better. It'll hold on longer. So I'm just going to show that here. So again, this is same quad at the same time. But, okay. If you look at it, right? <laughs> yeah. It depends. This I mean, is why I like to watch a whole segment to have an, an average set of frames because there were some horrible frames in there. But look at this. Right. Yeah. You're going between some good-looking frames, um, and and some like half missing frames. Um, but analog is, I don't know what to call this, but it's abstract art. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I do want to say, people will test this on their own, and this is what they will find, uh, that analog can hold on a little bit longer. So I'm not trying to hide anything. But I, like here, I'll try to get a, a bad-looking shot for HD0. There are bad-looking shots for HD0, and they do flash in your face. It's not good. Oh, yeah. But the analog is a freaking horror show. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So yeah, I actually have a, on one of my tests. You'll see similar results to that. I'll speak yeah. on that when the test comes up. So here I'm about a quarter of a mile away. Um, I don't know what that is in meters, but maybe I'll put it on the screen. It's really far away. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, I, analog is going to do a bit better, I would say. It's going to show less like completely lost frames, but I would still rather fly HD zero or or I, I wouldn't necessarily be doing this at all. <laughs> I I don't yeah. make a habit of flying out a quarter of a mile and then going behind a steel building. <laughs> yeah, these are stress tests. Yeah, yeah, people need to. Need to see the stress test. This is it. You can actually see. Okay, yeah. So there's a there's like a complete loss frame, right? It comes back immediately in the next frame. Um, analog had like a a video roll that happened. I could probably play it back in slow motion, but um, people know what that looks like. Yeah, just did it again. Um, if you want to see it, I can play it back. Okay. The receive the analog receiver did it. There it is. There we go. There we go. Um, like this is a stress test. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, and this is this is what it happens when you push this to the limit. Um, I wouldn't want to fly either of these. <laughs> <laughs> Again, quarter of a mile away, very far away, pushing into the limit. Um, and you're low to the ground, and it's yes, low snowing to the ground. outside. Yep. Yep. These are not uh, thin wall buildings. <laughs> So I mean, you got Color Freak Show over here, um, arguably arguably more flyable. Um, both of them are are usable though. I, I and I can tell you, yeah, I, I wouldn't be doing this kind of flying anyway. And again, really far away from me right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll put up a map of how far this is away. Right. Typically, I'm going to be up higher in the air when I'm flying this far away. Oh, yes. Uh, you can see analog is, is doing its its color thing. It's doing its warping and shifting thing. Um, you know, you kind of just pick different frames to look at. You can pick some bad bad ones for HD0, bad ones for analog. On the whole, though, I think the digital picture is way more coherent and has a lot more um, fidelity to it. And for the viewer, when you're playing this back on on YouTube, just pick a section where, where he's flying through a, a tough uh, penetration and just pause at random points and see how often you get a bad frame on either system. And that kind of also will give you a good idea on how often a bad frame is appearing on either one. And I think you'll be surprised with the results. Yep. And like, here is the like absolute worst case, I'd say. Um, this is probably even more like a third of a mile away. Um, another steel building, uh, really low to the ground. Um, I think I would just, I would say analog one, this one. But I wouldn't want to fly it. <laughs> um, you can also see, like, for a digital system, it's it, it's always impressive to me how quickly this system recovers. If it if it does lose signal, it recovers it like within a tenth of a second. Um, if you want to compare it to another digital system. <laughs> There we go. OK. And yeah, just to give you a thought, uh, an idea of how far away we are, I'm standing over here. I don't know if you can see my mouse on the on the, on the the far left of the screen. Yeah. And we were way down low to the ground, um, all the way over here. Oh, yeah, that's quite the distance. And I was shooting through this chain link fence and is nasty. You almost couldn't tell how late it was on the HD zero image. Yeah, it's pretty late. And you can see analog again having problems with color. Um, we'll approach this. I would say analog's going to do a pretty good job here too. Um, digital does its does a good job in its own way. It just kind of depends. Like if we freeze frame at different spots, um, but yeah, there's another torture test. Just a ton of like metal. Um, there was a tree there. Uh, trees cause problems for HD zero. They also cause problems for analog, kind of in similar ways. Very similar breakup pattern, actually. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's what was so interesting about flying is at the exact same time. Compare the breakup. All right, this is HD01 watt. This is TBS 1.5 watt, both on our channel one, R1. And uh, we're going to do a, a very uh, stressful test here for penetration. That's a complete stone church there, pretty thick too. Uh, it's elevated and yeah, it goes pretty, pretty far back. So when we get all the way back there, mind you, 
the signal is also being blocked by the the hill that it's on. Look at just how much better looking the digital is here. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty gorgeous. Yeah, and you can pick out all the bricks and on analog. It's like, yeah, you can pick them out, I guess, but there's a lot of colors too. Colors oh, that yeah. aren't actually there. <laughs> here, things already will start getting interesting too. And especially if you look at that tree. It's just a mess. Yeah. All right, and here we're coming around the corner. This is, again, a stone church. Uh, not exactly sure how it compares to brick, but we can say it's a pretty tough penetration test. Yeah, stone um, should oh. be pretty And here, the analog kind of shows off uh, that advantage of being able to uh, squint through that black and white image. But I take it around again just to show you that uh, it really depends how you go at it. It's uh, right here. The HD zero image looked better this time. Right. So a lot of it also has to do where are you exactly facing your your antennas um, on your headset, um, and that's just, just the orientation of your quad. But the HD zero, I would say, actually outperformed the uh, TBS on that, and that was um, not somewhere I would fly. Not recommended. Yeah, no, you're um, typically not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like in the typical spots we're flying. This thing has more than enough range and penetration. And uh, I think this is a testament to anyone who's been saying that HD0 can't fly in heavy Wi-Fi areas because this is actually about two blocks from the downtown area. Very heavy Wi-Fi here. Yeah. Doubt, yeah, hundreds of Wi-Fi access points. Mm -hmm. This is R1. Right. Yeah, it gets better on R8. Reduced output power, but better. Uh, yep. Plus, less, uh, less interference.